welcome everybody back to some more Timberborn. So this isn't going to be an episode where we do anything pretty. I just would like to recap what we did in the last seven days of Timberborn. Well, for starters, we actually produced some robots. And now the robots are controlling, oh well, technically they're building themselves. Um, quite literally, the robots are building themselves completely and utterly by themselves. We're also producing a lot of biofuel, which was a massive problem throughout the uh, week. We also uh, had a massive food crisis where we ran out of water and food due to creating biofuel. It's now sort of fizzled out. Now we have so much water. Thanks to the bots, to be fair. The timber bots really did help that. Um, we're sitting at a 23 well-being points, um, which is really good. I've started building in these massive statues here as well, which is what this video is going to be all about. The uh, tribute to uh, whatever that word means. I, I, I didn't do very good. Oh, it needs power. Oh. Uh, I did build one over here as well. There's that. I didn't realize that they needed power. That kind of stops me building those then. That's going to have to go in a different episode where I actually figure out where I'm going to put those. Um, that's kind of upsetting because I really wanted to put them in today. Um, but anyway, I'm going to have to plan that out. We built some bots. We had a crisis, a food crisis. We then fixed the food crisis. Then we had a little bit of a bot crisis over here where they didn't have any biofuel. But we fixed that now. They've got plenty of biofuel. Um, and they're building a way to build ourselves a massive tree farm. In between episodes, I have actually put in some more um, builder sets and stuff like that. Um, I think they've actually run out of done dynamite. I think that's what they've done. They've run out of dynamite. Um, not great. Um, which means I probably should make this actually give them dynamite too. Because this is actually only giving them biofuel at the moment. Go there, give them explosives. Because then I can give them explosives and dynamite. And then the next episode, after we fix the crisis, well, the crisis was fixed in that particular episode, we started a bit of a new district over here. Um, I think these guys have died of old age um, from working so hard. Um, so I'm actually going to go and give... Um, I'm actually going to do it so there's a minimum. This is District 8. So there's a minimum of uh, 15 beavers over here. Oh, that gives actually a couple of unemployed beavers over here. Oh, that's actually not too bad. So they actually were working over here so much that they actually passed away because they were over here for so long. Um, these guys are working on a massive mega project over here. It's the uh, mega dam that will fill up this whole area here. These guys actually do need some dynamite given to them as well at some point. Um, and I need to start marking areas that just need to be demolished really. Um, all of these trees need to go and this needs to go. Can you actually... Oh, you can. If I'd have known that I could have just done that, then I wouldn't have even bothered messing around with it, uh, to be honest with you. Um, these guys are going to take a very long time to build this and actually prepare this area for a massive great big reservoir that's literally going to be like from this corner here all the way down here, all the way down here. And it's going to be a huge reservoir that will actually pump water back up and into this river here so that we will basically never run out of water. That's basically the plan of this whole uh, project. Um, none of it's prioritized, so they are just sort of doing what they can. Um, I will actually start placing dynamite in this episode that I'm doing now, even though it is just a recap episode, because I have just realized that 
I did say that I wanted to do that. Uh, these guys don't have dynamite over here, by the way. They're not even getting sent it, so. This is, um. You can't even reach that, so. Some of them they can't reach, some of them they can. Um, they don't obviously have dynamite being sent to them at the moment, because I don't really want them to be placing this. Oh, that's the bottom of the map. Yes, so they're not actually going to be able to place any of those because they can't get the resources required. That's okay. Poor things. Just demolish them, really. Have a couple of spare beavers over here. To be fair. Um, this is what they're working on. They're working on a huge dam project. There it is in its full glory. Um, just to make a reservoir down here that goes all the way down to the bottom of the map. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to build it up to the top, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, over here, after we finished this one, we decided we had a little bit of a tree issue, which we still kind of do have, to be fair. Um, I think this is going to fix this problem um, eventually when these trees are finally done. They do take 30 days to uh, grow, but by the time these ones are done. Uh, these ones will also be ready to go and to be cut down. And um, I think some of them were even less than 52% done. But I'm not too sure. But these are almost done, so these two beavers actually will have something to do eventually. We also have six um, bots that aren't doing anything at the moment. Um, I'm waiting for this, this to be in a different episode. Um, they're just waiting for dynamite over here, to be fair. And treated planks and dynamite and biofuel and everything, really. Um, we got six. Um, we are waiting for ten, though, because I want to put them in here. We do that for now, to be fair. Which, again, leaves up more beavers. Um, when we realized that we have the wood problem, I showed you guys this little trick that I learned. Um, you put water in a water dump and it will fill this block up to 90% full and it will keep it there. So this area here was all dead and dried out and then I did that and now we can plant maple trees. So a little tip I learned from a couple of different YouTubers, I, I can't remember their names, there were so many that um, gave this tip out. But I didn't really think this was going to be enough. So then I decided that I was going to dynamite this entire hill over here, this entire mountain to do exactly what I did over here with the little tip with the water dump and make this into a giant, and I mean giant, um, maple tree forest. And then I realized that we needed more bots, so I put in these, these builder huts, which are obviously made by the bots and being controlled by the bots. And, uh, yeah, that's basically what we achieved. We we made some bots, we started a huge mega project over here, and then I didn't think one mega project was enough, so I decided to make another mega project, which became a headache. And uh, we could do some exploding. Oh yeah. But now, I need to then back, back dynamite, which means demolishing these, and then putting these in. It took me five hours five hours to to complete this whole thing to go from start to finish to start to finish to start to finish it took five hours um, also they can't get to those that are over there Because, well, they just, they just can't. And I'm definitely making it worse by uh, putting in paths and platforms and stuff. But, it is what it is. 
Um, we can demolish this and stuff. I'm just doing this off camera as well, just sitting here and watching the beavers work, to be fair. All of that can be demolished. And stairs are required. To do this. And, uh, and then we got to fill that whole area and then rinse and repeat. And that's how I've been doing it. So yeah, we achieved a lot in a week of daily uploads. Um, if you guys want to see some more Timberborn, um, I'll be uploading them. Uh, I think I'll do twice a week from now on, unless you guys wanted to see another day, another week of uh, Timberborn. Um, I'll probably wait a little while because this was a lot of um, effort and energy into producing something like this. You guys seem to be loving the Timberborn episodes at the moment, and uh, I, I can see why, because this game is strangely addictive and really fun to play. Um, you're, you're controlling beavers. It, it, you know, it sounds silly, but... You know, it's so fun, it's so addictive, and I just can't stop playing this game. I mean, I've got so many saves that just haven't seen the light of day because I keep playing them and then I fail and I try something new and then that doesn't particularly work out and then I have to do something else. and it, Yeah, but it's a lot of fun trying to figure out what works in this game what doesn't um, I've done the same thing again here they can't reach this back here because it's too low for them but they will be able to reach it when they demolish all of this so I gotta wait for them to demolish all of this just to get down there but this is some extreme project that I kind of regret doing but it's still fun uh, as a whole but yeah that's gonna do it for today's episode i hope you guys did enjoy a little recap of the seven days of timberborn look how much it's changed we've got bot factories we've got observatories all the windmills are in and we're doing good for food and water still doing really bad for logs but that's the whole point of this project here and uh, this will solve our water problem for for good and uh yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed the seven days of timberborn and let's continue with this save and see where it goes next because even i don't know what's gonna happen next but see you guys next time goodbye